Hi and welcome to Jennings Creations. Uh, I'm Fiona and um, I'm a self-taught artist. Um, I do lots of different things from painting, knitting, embroidery, crochet, woodworking, you name it, I do it. And uh, I am self-taught in everything I do. Um, I've been crafting all my life. Um, I can't remember not doing it. Where When we were brought up, we were brought up in a very large family and we didn't have any money so we had to make everything ourselves and so my art and craft stems from there from being a child but um, I'm just going to show you a few of the bits that I've done and um, this is a little hanger, it's like a little plaque or we call it the birdhouse um, it's made from chipboard and the background is hand painted using acrylic paints and it's made to look like wood um, every, everything's made of chipboard, even the bird, and that's handmade and hand painted by me. I haven't made this particular flower, but I do make the flowers very similar to this, and I also design my own flowers too. Um, and this can be hung or you know given as a card, a, a gift card, or something like that. Now this is um, a book that I've done, uh, just a little book, and um, the background here is uh, made from. You heat plastic till it shrivels. Then when it's shriveled, then you paint it. And once you've painted it, you dry it off, and then you add embossing powders to it, um, and then heat them again. And you end up with that effect. And it's really, really good for a background effect, with it bubbling and everything. And you can put almost anything you want on it. Um, this is a little picture that I've uh, done. What I did is I... Um, sp sprayed with glimmer mist this wooden frame and then from that and it's three it's actually three colours you've got the red at the top well, it looks more pink now green in the middle and then a purple at the bottom and then what you do from there um, is emboss it with clear embossing powder and um, add your vintage picture and your pearls and whatever and hey presto you've got a lovely frame uh, this is a painting I'm actually in the process of doing, and this is a multi um, mixed media. Um, this is also using acrylic paints and watercolours pencils. Um, like I say, this is in the process. I'm uh, still not finished it at the moment, but I enjoy that type of work. Again, this is another mat, like a name mat that I made somebody, and. Um, you know, making the handmade flowers, making the tags. This is material in the background, stamping that. You can colour it and emboss it and whatever you want to do with it. This is an embossed butterfly that I've just finished. Well, I've, I've got the to bling it up a little bit at the moment, using um, metallic embossing powders and things like that. Um, this is a shoe that I've recently made from card. Just made from plain cardstock. Made the shoe, handmade flower on it and a little bit of trim and some stamping up. Um, this is another one that I recently did, um, which is... Oh, sorry, it's upside down, sorry. I'll get it right. <laughs> um, this is using all different um, embossing powders, and it's just done on chipboard, straight onto that, using the Versamark, adding the embossing powders, and then when you heat it, before it sets and cools, you stamp it with an image and I used a large stamp that I had with a clock on it, some scripts and some wings and whatever and uh, really good technique and uh, lots and lots of ideas there I'm just going to get another one for you again this is another little tag that I've done using uh, mulberry paper as a background handmade flowers, printed picture um, adding lace, uh, glimmer mist in the lace and that to uh, age it and trim. Again this is another one with a handmade flower. These are the lollipop flowers I make and a um, picture from the internet. All the stamping on the background is done by me and the aging of the paper, the brads. So that's another tag. This is another one that I did. Um, this one's not quite finished but I've done three of these up to now and this is the oriental tag. And all this is done by hand painting these on. These are not stamps, they're hand painted bamboo. 
The background is stamps with the oriental coins stamp. Um, the image has got some hand painted branches on. And the uh, the eye, um, eyes are painted and the lips are glossed. But you know, it's just lots and lots of different ways of making something. Um, and like I say, I'm just going to, I'll show you, <laughs> sorry about this, but I'm just going to show you this one. You have to excuse me while I take you for a walk. <laughs> uh, this is another one that I've uh, recently made, and it's using the brush show crystals, which is absolutely fabulous for a background with uh, different mediums, and this one's a modelling paste I used on that one. Sprinkle the crystals on, wet them, and then it just, you get all these bubble effects and colours and things like that using lots of different materials to make the picture and um, I do one brush uh, one stroke painting sorry where you can two or three colors on a brush and just do that love 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 doing textured backgrounds working out various textures that's the material stuck on there and then hand painted and then colored right it's going to go off in a minute so my time's limited there's another sand texture medium that's on there. Sorry. Uh, and then just done with a, a knife, a palette knife. So I do lots of different things, and I'd like you to come along and join me uh, in my workshops um, creating. And my motto is think outside the box. Because when you do that, your creative side takes over. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you come along and join me. Um, and we'll have some fun and fab times. Thanks very much. Bye.